Hi, my name's Jack Hodgins. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd do an update on some various topics because Phantom's getting left out with um, all this new uh, inspiring, uh, inspiring one talk. And uh, I, I know the Phantom's had a, a bit of an upgrade on new motors, so I just wanted to cover very quickly. Uh, I don't want to sort of bore too many people. Um, so on the Phantom Vision itself, um, what's what, what's been added new? Well, Phantom Vision Plus it's still called Phantom Vision Plus. Not add any sort of version two, not point six. It's just still Phantom Vision Plus, but when you buy buy them now, they now come with check with shipping where you buy it from to make sure it's not old stock. Because old stock, you're just going to be get the old basic Phantom Vision like most of us already have. So make sure it's new stock. If it's new stock, then you're going to get the new uh, features of um, uh, new remote control with LiPo rechargeable battery. So you don't have to put any more double A's in it. It comes with a nice gimbal control, so you can actually control the camera from your fingers rather from the app. It comes with a trainer port so you can train on a bit of software to fly before you actually get the Phantom in the air. It comes with a new, the new prop, um, new props. Um, get, um, meant to be, they're meant to be a bit, they're made the same plastic but obviously they're sh shaped slightly different to the original props and they're a bit thicker I think or a bit more stronger so they don't flex as much as the original ones do. And then you obviously got the new improved compass uh, on the Phantom and I'm wondering actually if um, they've actually sealed off the GPS module in the top, so I did a, vi a video, I did a YouTube video on that about um, covering the cable up to give to get a better reception on the GPS, and that, that actually improved it. And I know you guys are all commenting on and saying how brilliant that was, and and it, it did the job. So I'm wondering if on the new version they've actually um, sealed it off. I have to look. I know I've got to repurchase a new Phantom. I'm going to I'm going to buy the new Phantom two. And I'm going to actually open it up and see if they have, because that'd be quite interesting to know. If not, I have to do my little fix on it. So, and obviously, what they've also done um, is added. I don't know. It shows on the site. Uh, they're the new features. Oh yeah, they've added the new motors. So you got a new motor as well, and the new speed controllers to go with the motors. So it should give better, um, hopefully, a better improved flight, maybe a bit more flight time. But without actually getting hands on one, I'm not sure how. How much flight time you get with it whether it's in another minute or so or whether it's just more stable in the air but we'll have to find out when i get one the gimbal is exactly the same same gimbal nothing else has been changed on that but i think uh phantom needs uh, or dji needs to look at actually improving uh on the gimbal you know uh, make it a bit more solid a bit more robust so if it does if it do crash it can hold with hold a bit of a sort of a bump as well because this the, the previous gimbal is quite um well you can damage it quite easily, as I found out. So maybe, are they, even maybe they the release some a uh, new gimbal that we can actually just buy the gimbal itself to replace our own and upgrade it. That'd be quite cool. So there, there you have this. That's the um, literally uh, the new Phantom. Twenty-five minutes. Minutes. I don't really get twenty-five minutes in mind. Do you? Uh, I suppose if you take the gimbal off and take anything else that sucks power, you could probably get twenty-five minutes. But in theory, not really. Um, has anybody actually tried flying this with um, actually downloading your footage at the same time to see if actually reduced battery life and how much buy? That'd be interesting. Maybe when I get my up and running again, I can actually test that one out. But that's that's all they've done. But obviously, on the new, re new release, they've actually upgraded. Um, they've actually now de got a development site for DJI, which is for only for the Phantom Visions, and it's called the SDK platform, which opens up for developers to develop. Uh, ongoing new apps to run with the Phantom and provide some sort of um, what else you can get out of it really you know what you can do with the Phantom I know Phantom's gonna be around for a long long time I can't see them killing the product off because it is one it's their flagship product that's made in what they are today I think they've they started from being 20 employees to something up to 2,800 employees thank to the thank you thank to the Phantom for that so um, this actually then gives a bit of life, life. So again, it's it's available support for the Phantom 2 Vision Plus and the Phantom 2 Vision, but not for for not anything below that. So if you've got if you've got the old Phantom, then obviously you're not going to have the um, you're going to need to upgrade. Um, but yeah, it supplies both the iOS and the Android apps on this one. One company's actually come forward on this, which actually developed something really exciting, um, which I think is really good, and it'll quite be quite good for a lot of the industry, especially the, the industries that actually. Um, looking for history um, the revisiting villages and old town areas that's possibly like Roman times would be perfect for you know and obviously the companies that are into developing and rebuilding um, and landscaping and things like that it'd be ideal for and they're actually called Pixel 4D 
and that's 3D type mapping. So it really turns your phantom into a fully qualified, fully qualified scanner in the sky. And uh, and I think this is going to be quite a superb um, piece of um, software to use. It comes as a phone app, which controls um, lit uh, controls. Let me have a look on here, so I get the right page up. It it controls um, no, not the right page. Uh, products um, present versions. There you go. It, it's an app um, that comes on. It's not. It's not available for the iOS as yet. They're actually. They're actually looking at supporting it very soon. But it's, it is available on the Android. So if you've got a Phantom Vision Plus with an Android phone, you can start trying this out as as, as now. And what it does, it creates a, a grid type thing. You you fly. You pick the area you want to fly. You put your grid mission out, and you send it off, and it and it goes off, taking lots and lots of photographs, and then you. Once it's all done, come back to come back to home. Load up the actual desktop um, version of this software, and it imports it all in and creates some stunning 3D uh, objects or three-dimensional views, which I'm going to show you here because I think it's superb. And I'll, I'll tell you in a sec what I would like to use it for. So here we go. This is the little video to produce. I'm just going to skip it forward to the important bits, and we'll turn the sound down a bit. So there you go, this guy's sent his phantom off and he scans the building. So there's the pictures comes in, uh, which takes it in the air and it creates this type of view. So superb, and it creates it into 3D and now you've got a three dimensional object of the area you're flying. I think this is superb, I mean I'll definitely use this. Uh, surveyors, uh, state agencies could use this, there you go. Scanning a house just takes the, the area you want and then you can take like measurements from, from once you've got all the shots in place. And it gives you a nice three-dimensional look. It can be loaded into various 3D programs and rendered out, and used for all sorts of type of things. And uh, here we go, la landscapes. And this one I'm particularly interested in because I'm it, where I live in Cambly. I'm doing like a town portal website. I'll show you that in a sec. And this software will be superb for it, giving an extra level of what I'm trying to achieve with my site. There we go. Instruction site always be sort of scanning, and it brings it into like this. It's superb 3D modeling just as what I want and then you can be more interactive so especially if that's loaded onto a website and your viewers have control of spinning it around going in for zooms and all sorts um, and that's basically what the app is all about and that's pixel 4d pixel4d.com um, and I'm just going to show you my town portal site because um, this is um, what I'm doing as a project so I'm not only just doing my YouTube channel about the Phantom that I like flying, I'm also I'm on the sidelines because I've spent lots of spare time on my hands. I've created a town portal called Cambly Net and also I have various other ones called Guildford Net, Woking Net and Croydon Net and so forth and they all do the sort of similar same things. It's a portal about the town I live in and it gives you all the information about um, town history, uh, the, the local news, news that's relevant to my town, not every bit of news out on there. And then obviously I've got some sponsors in here, which is to do with like you know National Childbirth Trust, and also I follow another company called Surrey TV, which does uh, like re uh, reviews what's what events are going on in around Surrey basically. So it's quite good. But the main bit I, I actually focus on here, which I, what I built it really for, is the history of the town, capturing it before it all disappears. So for instance, the Cottage Hospital, Frimley, it's been around for donkey's years. That's an old picture of what it used to look like. That's currently what it looks like now. It used to be a hospital, then it got changed to various centres with the NHS, and now they've actually closed it down because they're actually redeveloping it. It's going to be turned into ha uh, flats and housing. So, again, history disappearing, and that's what I want to catch you for. So, if I can get the Phantom with that nice Pixel 4D software, I can actually go a bit more level than just taking aerial shots and videos. Uh, of of the areas I'm I'm filming, so it adds a, adds a bit more into it. And other things I'm actually focusing, which I've done as well recently, I've done a pub. Again, pubs are disappearing quite rapidly and quickly. But the Pixel 4D has also allowed you taking standard photography, standard stills from your normal camera. If you've got an iPhone or you're taking pictures from a, a decent SLR, you know you can import those in, adding um, extra depth to your um, 3D view. So this is a building I've used the Phantom to fly around. And uh, I did a video for it here, and uh, there you go. So I've got various other YouTube channels covering the different areas I'm flying in as well, so they're not all confused on one site. And it just gives you a bit of um, an idea what I'm doing. And then and using Pixel 4Ds will actually give me that extra view, an extra interaction, 
and make it a bit more interesting on my site for viewers to look at. And again, this is a project I'm doing over 20 years. I'm looking for sponsorship um, companies that are end up sponsoring me to keep this going for 20 years. It runs on my own servers, which are in, uh, actually in, located on site. And um, so in 20 years time, you better look back to see how, how the town's changed. And I'm doing it across all the towns. I'm going to build it up across Camley, Guildford, go work through Surrey, and eventually work through the UK. And if uh, I end up getting really commercial and really a lot of backing behind me, then maybe we can go international with it. Uh, or maybe I can work with somebody that is already in a different country and want to do something similar to over there. We can sort of pull together. So I'm looking for like decent um, uh, holiday locations that I can add into it so I can encourage the UK to go abroad, encourage people abroad to come over to the UK and look at other areas apart from just going to London and those particular city centres, come and visit other areas of uh, the UK so that's what I'm basically use my phantom for like to know what you guys what you use your phantom for whether it's just for home projects your own sort of thing or whether you're doing it for something in particularly let me know because it'll be interesting to find out um, and another thing that's also come about on the talks um, Pixel 4D Phantom Vision Plus updates developer site side quick overview and a new one called uh, Sky Pixel and uh, let's go to Sky Pixel. There you go. It's a website dedicated to Phantom, and obviously any any type of flying. I think it's not open just to, to Phantom Visions, the S one thousands or the uh, Aspire ones. It's also for anybody flying quadcopters, where you can actually log in, create yourself a profile, which I have done. So here's my profile, and you can share YouTube videos. You can share photographs. The site can, doesn't upload the whole videos. It actually links with your um, YouTube channel. Uh, and you can put pull pull the links in. It pulls the links in for you, and then uh, under the video, I don't know where it shows. Yep, under the video, you creates the video up the top here, as you can see, plays it nicely. And at the bottom, here you can add in extra things like you know categories, uh, pulls in your tags in from YouTube. So if you want to put additional tags, you can add those in there. Then you can add in like locations, the equipment used, comments you've got, uh, you know, and any other detail you can add on to, on, onto it as well. And you can categorize these. And again, this is a bit like a Facebook for quadcopters, quadcopters, headcopters. Um, so you can share, share, and like, and follow other people. So it's a great little site to hang out with with other people. You can look at like shows recommended videos. So you can go onto other people's on here, and um, click on follow. So I do follow them, and you see what other people get up to, and what they use and stuff. And it's really interesting, you know. So something a bit, a bit bored, fed up a bit of watching YouTube and other channels. Have a look on here. It's another way of interacting and stuff. So it's very easy to do. You just fill your information out, type your password, send an email, confirm it, and then log in and change all your profile settings. I only got, I've only just, I've only got one photograph I've uploaded so far, um, which is the Saint Catherine's Chapel. But I'm gonna um, start adding my photographs into here. So if you want to follow me on Sky Pixels, log in, search for Jack Hodgins, and um, you'll find me. Add me in, and I'll add you in back and follow you. You can add change the cover at the top here. It's a bit like a Facebook for quadcopters. Got your name. And you can you can also add in like about yourself, uh, put in your Twitter, Google website details, and obviously then start showing you know who you're following, who's following you, and so forth. So and uh, this is this is basically called uh, SkyPixels.com. So um, hopefully I'll see you guys logging in and registering on that. So that's all we've got time for today. So it's a quick overview. Hope you like this. Please do comment and let me know um, if you've got any questions. I know a lot of people have been sending me lots of comments and been replying back as quick as I can. So, um, yeah, until next time, uh, speak to you now. Don't forget to uh, subscribe if you want to get into the competition for Dexcopter. And um, share, share my videos out to everybody else. Um, so let's get people on board. Let's get people talking. And if you've got any videos you'd like to share on my own Phantom website, let me know. Send me the links, and I'll uh, link you on there with all the accreditation back to you guys. Um, so you've got a bit more sort of um, other people to show stuff with. As my site's getting quite busy now, so pretty good. My site's still in in uh, still in construction, but it's fully working, and I'm be building around it and adding new features and stuff to it as we go. And I'll be including the Sky Pixels uh, details as well for you, just in case you forget. All right, have fun, f uh, fly safe, be safe. Okay.